If you're a video creator and have ever needed some video ideas and inspiration for proven successful and often viral videos, then keep watching. As a busy video creator, I'm always on the lookout for software and tools that improve the quality of my content and also help me create quickly and consistently and hopefully with better results than the last video, which is why this particular tool really grabbed my attention and why it could be the ultimate hack for you to grow your YouTube channel with proven content ideas. So today we're going to look at some software called One of Ten. Now you might wonder why One of Ten, where does that name come from? Well, if you've ever looked at your YouTube analytics and it shows you the performance of your last video, it sometimes will tell you if you're doing well, one of 10, which means out of the last 10 videos, that was the best performing one. Now, if every video you create is a one of 10, that means that every video you create gets better and better and better. And as you can see here, the whole purpose of this tool is to get ideas, ideas for video titles, for thumbnails, and to generate an abundance of proven successful ideas ideas for your channel. Now the way this works is by what we call an outlier. And I know what you're thinking, what's an outlier? Well luckily for me they've already wrote that on their website, so let's have a quick look. Now they describe an outlier as a video that overperforms relatively to the average views on the channel, making those excellent inspirations for your next video since they haven't been proven to succeed regardless of the niche. Bit of a mouthful that really, isn't it? So an outlier is basically an overperforming video for someone's channel. If you took Mr. Beast, for example, let's say Mr. Beast has uh, 5 million views on a video. I'm sure he gets far more than that. But say that's his average. He always gets 5 million views. Now, let's say he releases a new video and it gets 5 million views. That's not an outlier. That's his normal. But let's say he gets 50 million views. Well, that's 10x what he normally achieves. So that is an outlier. If you got 500 million views, then it's obviously a lot more and so on. So you can almost score by the number of views what a video gets compared to what they normally get. How is that useful? Well, an outlier is gonna show you videos that are outperforming the norm on that channel. So by looking at all these different channels, all these different niches and looking at what kind of content is really taking off compared to their other content, you can see what's proven, what's successful and what perhaps you should be creating content on too. Well, let's dive into it and take a closer look. So there's a few different parts to this tool. I'm gonna to show you exactly how it works. If you want any of the links to this tool, I'm gonna to put them in the description as well so you can sign up and test for yourself. Now, this is the homepage, if you like, what we log into when we go to their website. Now on here, you've got different categories at the top and you can click on them categories if you wish. And that will show you videos in that category. You've also got this search bar at the top where you can search for something in particular. So let's just try best golf and see what that comes up with. So you can see here, it basically finds videos on YouTube and it tells you a few different details. It tells you the channel name, how many subscribers they've got, and it also tells you the number of views that video got in comparison to what they average. So this channel averages about 600,000 views and this video got 1.4 million. So this score here, that's in blue, 2.3x, means that video was 2.3x, 2.3 times better than their average. And as you can see, these numbers change. Red are the ones you need to look for as well. So this one here was 13 times better than their average. Now, even by doing that alone, we can look and we can search through and we can find examples that we think, oh, that's quite useful. We could try the title. We could try the thumbnail and create our own versions kind of modeled on them. These patterns we can look for and we can use this to inspire ourselves with our own content. But that's not where all the magic happens. So if we click on filters, you've got a number of settings in here that you can filter by. So one thing that's useful is to change that multiplier. Let's say we only want to see videos that have done at least five times the average. So them ones have really kind of took off. And also, we don't want all time in terms of the publication date. Let's change it to the last six months so we know there's some relevance as well. There are other things that you can change. You can change the video duration if you only create shorter videos or longer videos. Uh, you can change the number of views so you're only looking at big hitting videos rather than something that's still a low view count. I generally will just change the publication date and the multiplier, but you can mess around with it as much as you like. So once we've hit apply changes, you'll see now we've only got reds and purples in here. So 
I mean, look at this one here. Charlie Woods, the rising star of the golf world. So that is almost 70 times their normal average. So that has really took off. But you do this, you go through and you just look for kind of what are people doing? What kind of stands out? I mean, I'm not into golf um, at all, really. But I can see from a couple of these that you've got these red lines. You know where they're showing the fly to the ball? Instead of one there with a the putter, it's showing the fly to the ball. So you can almost instantly start recognizing patterns. Now, you don't have to just search for your niche. You can actually use other examples as well. Now, one other thing we can do, I'm just going to go back to home, go to filters, and it'll reset your filters when you click on home. So we're going to change that multiplier. Now, let's say we want to know what's really working at the moment. So let's change it to like last three months and we'll set it to a 10x for the uh, for like the outlier level. So this is going to show us just lots across any niche, lots of videos that are doing brilliant at the moment. So you can use this as like a bit of a filter, really. Let's say you were starting a new channel and you want to know what channels are doing well. Then this is a good way of kind of putting that filter on, looking at what channels have got um, really popular videos and, and using it to maybe inspire your next one. Or we could also just dig into any of these niches. And we could use these niches to almost inspire our content as well. If we look at travel, for example, you don't have to be in the travel niche to seek inspiration from this. You do get thumbnails and titles that cross over from one niche to another. Now, one video I've seen recently is um, why everyone is quitting YouTube. I've seen quite a few people create content on this. So if we just put quitting YouTube in there and then filters, change it to the last three months, it's already on. I mean, let's put it down to almost six there. And if you just look at this, look at how many people are creating content around this at the moment. I think this is partly because YouTube is quite vain and likes people to talk about YouTube. Um, but also, like I say, people have, people have cottoned on and realized that this is a popular topic at the moment. So all of these people are having great success. So you can look at what works, you can see what kind of patterns there are, and you can create one exactly the same yourself. Now, when you find one that works, let's take this vidIQ one. vidIQ is a great channel. But I like this thumbnail. I like the fact that they've got um, some simple words in there and it's nice and clear. Now, you can bookmark that and create a um, almost like a vision board of your own. So you can add a folder in here. So I'm just going to say, um, I'll just call it vidIQ and I'm going to click on plus. So I've created a bookmark now called vidIQ and I can add that in. So if we go to the left hand side, click on bookmarks, you can see there. So this is like a way of collecting decent thumbnails. I've got some examples in here as well. So these are good titles and good thumbnails that are done really well and have got some relevance to what I'm looking at. Now, I actually based one of my older videos on this one as well. So this is, a, this is an Australian travel video. I do not create any content that is remotely like that, but I was inspired by just something as simple as this green tick and this red cross and created a video that was very similar. So it's a good way of bookmarking the ones that you think are good. If we go back to home, and again, let's add a filter, let's add a multiplier on, last three months and apply the changes. So another thing that you can do is you can go to the actual video, let's use this one as an example, and you can click on find similar. And what that should do is look for similar kind of looking thumbnails, similar titles, similar content. It's looking for um, it's looking for other examples that are very close as well. And you can see, I mean, a lot of these are going to be by the same actual creator. So this K49 Among Us. But if you look further down, there are other people in there as well that are creating them that are very, very similar. So it just gives you an idea and um, a bit of inspiration, really, of what you should create next. Now, if you would also like to see what else that channel's creating, if you just click on the name of the channel, so it takes you to the channel and then you can see the gray, this one that says 1.6X. So that's more normal, 1.3. Then it goes blue, then purple, then red. And the red ones are the ones that you look out for. So they're the ones that have really took off. And that, like I say, could be down to the title or the thumbnail. These thumbnails are very, very similar. So I'd imagine there's something in that title that really stood out. Now, as well as the website, you also have a Chrome extension. Now, the Chrome extension, I believe at the moment, is free. So you can install this Chrome extension called oneof10.com, and I'll show you exactly what that does as well. So now that Chrome extension's installed, you can see here that we've got it in the top um, toolbar, if you like, and there's a few things that you can do with this. So first of all, it's a little bit random, but I quite like it. You've also got this little function where you can place your current thumbnail 
you upload the thumbnail and then you can place it into this um, into this screen if you like. And it's a way of seeing whether your thumbnail will stand out. So I'm just going to click on preview and if I just scroll down, can you see there? So what it does is it overlays one of the existing thumbnails with yours and it's quite a good way of just giving it that sense check really is, is it a good thumbnail? Will it stand out? Now, that thumbnail didn't stand out at all and I didn't actually go with that one in the end, but it's a good, um, like I say, gives you a good test. Now, ignoring that for a moment, the main thing we're going to focus on is this one of 10 finder video scoring. So one other thing that extension does is if we just go to someone's channel, you can see here, it adds the outlier score onto every video as well. So you can actually go to someone's channel that you know or respect or you know is doing well, and you can actually then take a quick glance and see what videos are the ones that stand out compared to their normal. So we can see on this channel, the best iPhone 5 Pro filmmaking accessories. It was a massive hit. If you scroll to the top of their videos, you've also got this where you can do ascending and descending. So if we just click on descending, you can see the most popular ones first as well. So that is extremely useful and it'll give you that on each channel. Okay, and the other thing that we can do is we can actually search in here for something. So let's say best photography tips. And we're gonna look at what results come up. And once them results have loaded, that extension is gonna load in them same outlier scores as well. So if we just give that a second. So as you can see there, we've got the blue, the gray, the red. Now it did used to show a sidebar as well at the side with all the results in, and that's not coming up for some reason. So I've just got onto the Discord community and I've asked whether that's now been deprecated or whether it's just broken at the moment, but you can get the gist of it. So you've got that extension that quickly shows your results and outlier videos from within YouTube itself, but also more importantly, you've got the app. And in the app, you can search by categories, you can filter, and you can do lots of different ideation kind of techniques and strategies in order to build up an abundance of video ideas for your channel. Now, I think one of 10 has got a lot of potential when it comes to generating ideas that are clearly working for others. It can be used to look at your niche or other niches and draw inspiration. Does that mean guaranteed success? Well, absolutely not, as you still need to create videos that are engaging and high quality and hopefully better than the one that you modeled it on. But it can certainly fast track the process of generating ideas and action in them, which is ultimately going to make your life easier as a video creator, as would this video that I've linked on screen now.